In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the print head cleaning of your Epson XP970 printer. So once you switch on the printer, you will hear the print head noise like it's moving. Just unplug Just unplug the printer. Ink cartridges are just here. Take the ink cartridges out, so press this button. So it uses six ink cartridges. The print head is just underneath here and we have to take the print head out, unscrew from here. I remove this plate there are two more screws to take out Now lift it from the side and try to take it off. Make sure you don't break anything. Print head is here. Now we have to clean this print head. Take a tissue paper and clean this print head. On the side of the print head we can see there are ink markings. So that's the cloaked ink. You just have to remove it. So we can clearly see the ink is cloaked because there is no ink on this side. So take your wet tissue and apply some water in it. Take a tissue, apply some cleaning agent or water and just clean this area. Once you clean it, you will see all the colors has start to show up. Keep cleaning, the more color will show up. So this is unclogging the print head. We cannot see the color there but once you do the cleaning with the wet tissue paper definitely it's going to show up. So make sure you apply enough water. Don't let the water to go in the chip because it will damage. Just use here. In case your print head is damaged, you can just replace this section and install the new one. It's easy because you just have to remove the, you can just slide out this section and take these chips out. So print head will be free, for example like this and this. But you have to remember from which side you have done it. So make sure you see these lines, so whenever you are just cleaning it once you see these colorful lines that means your print head has started to work properly next step is to just place it back so these 
chips will go on the side by side both sides install the chip back in its position both sides now turn it around or just everything as it was before twist as it was before just push it from here it will come to its position slide it down next step is to place those two screws here they all the screws are of same size so we don't have to worry about anything now place this plate press it down it will lock itself now we have to place this plate on this side so it has a small marking here that's pointy structure that will go downward and on that side so place it here and press it down so it will lock so this will secure the print head place the ink cartridges back side will go there first and then front it's like this so back side and then front it actually goes itself to its position so once you put there now close it plug in the power cable go to the display panel scroll ahead and go to the settings click on the maintenance print head cleaning load the paper and click on the start it's going to take around 4 minutes for the cleaning so we'll just wait for the printout to come after that Let's check the printing report. We can clearly see all the inks are showing up other than the magenta. But this doesn't make any big difference because we have cleaned the print head. Once we start cleaning, it will definitely improve the print result. So you can select all the pattern lines are clear. So that's correct. And now we can start printing. So let's copy and see if it's working properly or not. So I'm just going to place a page. It has four colors on that. Then do the copy. So we are going to do the color copy. So print result is here, it has started to work but still some of the ink we can clearly see is not matching the original one and if you look at here the black ink is not showing. So print head has started to work 
over the period of few hours it will start to print normally so this way we can do the cleaning of the print head manually thanks for watching